podcast presented by Line Star, your best MLB player props for today on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks. Alongside Tyler Riemann, I am Shannon Somerville. Tyler, back in business. Mm-hmm. The band is back together and we are ready to roll on our props now. Tyler, yesterday, I did not bad. Mm-hmm. With you being gone. Now, I do have to say, we got a little bit of the short end of the stick with Luis Garcia on yeah. his strikeouts. We took the over on six and a half. He ended up only having eight pitches. Eight pitches. The yeah. trainer pulled him. Why are you even starting in the first place? I it don't like was that. a bit of a crazy that situation. However, Vlad Guerrero delivered for us on the one and a half basis prop. And my home run call hit, Alex Verdugo. That was plus 700. So some nice juice on that one. That was a walk-off for him, too, mm-hmm. so that was kind of a cool one. So got a home run call yesterday, so looking to continue the momentum today. Great props for you today. There's a lot of nice hitter props. Mm-hmm. And, in fact, my home run call today, uh, it's available on Price Picks and Underdog Fantasy 0.5 bases. So that's something nice. to go snag. I'll give you a hint. It's the player with the highest exit velocity and highest hard hit percentage. A little tease for you there. We'll have to stay tuned for our home run calls. First, we've got our prop bets for today. Guys, today is International Harry Potter Day and National Byron Day, which is like another it. tease to a home run call. Mm-hmm. I'm just putting that out there mm-hmm. as well. Are you a Harry Potter fan, Tyler? No. No? Really not Harry really? Fan. Yeah. <laughs> I like some Harry Potter. I read all the books. Oh, yeah? What, ha- what house are you from? Um, That's a very good question. Yeah. I feel like I'm Gryffindor. Come You're on. Gryffindor? All right. You're definitely Slytherin, I, I right? have no idea what any of it means, <laughs> by the way. All right. I just heard that's a thing. <laughs> so it's cool. All right. Now let's get to our prop bets for today, Tyler. Where are you headed today in the prop market? All right. I'm going to go with Steven Matz, lower than 2.5 walks. It's at minus 155 on Sportsbook. So you're getting some really good value here. Matz has started the season extremely wild, mm-hmm. 4.6 walks per nine. However, but over the last 20 starts, 2.8 per nine. Mm-hmm. So he has been extremely wild to start the season. That is not who he is. I think there's some regression with that number, but still with being that wild, yeah. He's still been under in three of five. So I think there's one regression with his walks and two, he's been under in 60%. So let's roll with it. The Cardinals pitching staff hasn't been great, but mm-hmm. the Cardinals do have really good pitching coaching. So yes. I I really believe that they're going to all kind of turn around, but specifically yeah. Matt's, he'll start dialing it in. He, he absolutely will. And I mean, this is just walks. He's yeah. been pitching fine. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he... Just yeah. gets a couple less, and he's good to go. All right. For my prop bet for today, I'm going with Phillies outfielder Brandon Marsh over 0.5 hits at minus 135. I actually took this bet on Friday. However, he mm-hmm. did not end up being in the lineup, but I'm going back to it today because, quite honestly, this might be one of the best hitters in Major League Baseball right now. He's gotten a hit in seven of the last 10 games. In fact, 70% of the season. This is a transformed hitter. When he came over from the Angels, he was considered a positional player, really only mm-hmm. he was there for his fielding. However, he's turned... He turned it into quite the offensive weapon for the Phillies in this one, and he's got a great matchup today. This is a lefty bat with a 12-15 OPS, actually against lefties, so some reverse split action. Keep in mind the average for OPS in MLB is like 720, and then he's going up against Dodgers lefty Julio Urias, who hasn't been that great this season. He's worse versus lefties, too. In fact, over 1,000 OPS against lefty bats this season. And Marsh has faced him five times. He's one for five, but that one was a home run. Also, we're looking at a Dodgers bullpen. That is awful this season. They have the second highest opponent average this season. So if he doesn't get a hit versus Urias, which I would be kind of surprised about, Urias has given up a lot of contact this season. The Dodgers bullpen, they just have not been able to stop opposing offenses in this one. So I like Marsh. Hopefully he's in the lineup again today. I was very disappointed on Friday that he was not. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right, do we have some bonus props? Because I feel like these are going to go like hotcakes. What do you got for a bonus? Uh, Michael Kopech under 6Ks. So we have some correlation with one-year bonus Mm -hmm. and maybe with uh, some home run calls here. Let's go. But I think the 6K line is just a little bit too high. Line star projection is 5.4. He's been under in 4 of 5. Minnesota is hot. They've they've had 7-plus runs on 3 of the last 4. 
All right. I'm going to another hitter prep for my bonus call here today, and I'm going with Minnesota Twins outfielder Trevor Larnick over 0.5 hits. That's minus 125, and Larnick's been pretty good at the dish recently. Over 69% this season, eight of the last 10 he's gotten a hit. And this is a lefty bat with better splits versus righties, 247 average, so kind of around average there. Going up against Chicago White Sox righty Michael Kopech. Better versus lefties this season, but that wasn't the case last season. So I do expect a little regression when it comes to those splits versus lefty bats. Larnick is two for three against Kopech. And then the Chicago White Sox bullpen, kind of like the Dodgers. They are not good. They actually have the highest opponent average in all of baseball. We've got some favorable conditions there at uh, Progress. What is their ballpark? Guaranteed right field. <laughs> I, did, I forgot the name of that one for yeah. a second, but hey, they've got great hitters conditions today because wind is blowing out about 18 miles an hour to right field, so it'll be a nice little boost to those lefty bats in the lineup, including Larnick. So I'm taking Larnick over 0.5 bases as well. You can find all of our props on Underdog Fantasy and Prize Picks. If you don't have those apps already, make sure to use the promo code LINESTAR and you'll get up to $100 of your deposit match. It's a great way to place those prop bets. Also, check out our Props AI tool. It's the tool we've been using this season, and we're in the green so far this season making money, so we want you to be a part of that as well. Check out the Props AI tool, linestarapp.com. You'll find the best value in the prop market. It's a great tool to leverage, not just on underdog fantasy and prize picks, but in the various sports books as well. Whatever is legal in your state, you can kind of cater it to whatever you guys need and are looking for in the prop market. So make sure to check it out, linestarapp.com. Now it's time for our home run calls of the day. Tyler, where are you headed for a bomb today? I'm going with Minnesota Twins Byron Bucks, and it is National Byron Day, so might as well roll with it, right? The only thing going against Buxton in this matchup is that Kopech is slightly, and I mean very mm-hmm. slightly better, versus righties. But we got a poor pitcher, mm-hmm. poor bullpen, wind blowing out, and a guy that has hit 44 home runs in the last 150 games. Sign me up for a Buxton bomb. All right, I'm keeping it with the Twins, too, and I am going to Twin Slugger Joey Gallo plus 340 for a bomb. This is the player that has the highest exit velocity, highest hard hit percentage in all of baseball, a lefty bat with a 500 ISO raw power against righties. Keep in mind, 170 is considered above average for that stat. How crazy is that? He's been crushing it, and today he gets to face the righty for the White Sox, Michael Kopech, who has the third highest home run per nine rate in all of baseball among pitchers, minimum 20 innings pitch. Gallo's in a great spot today. So is your boy Byron mm-hmm. on National Byron Day. Got to take that into consideration too. Also that 18 mile an yeah. hour wind out to right field. I like it for our Twins players today. You home heard run. it here first from the ISO queen. <laughs> the ISO queen. Here we go. Let's go get these props today. Good luck. In, see, you missed You missed us. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good luck in all your prop bets for today. Also, oh, before I forget. We've been doing really well on our NBA props that we have been giving out in the comments. So make sure hmm. to check those comments every Maybe now and then. We were two for two yesterday. Put down a couple comments as well. Yeah, put your picks in the comments. I'll throw a couple NBA props for you in there as well. Yesterday we had Harden over two and a half threes. Mm-hmm. He went off yesterday. We also had Marcus Smart over 11 and a half points, and he delivered kind of in the final few minutes for yep. us there, though, but we'll take that one, too. So make sure to keep an eye on those comments. And also comment yourself, because a comment will automatically enter you into our prop bets contest. If we hit both of our props, our main props, one randomly selected commenter wins $50. It's that easy. I was hoping to be able to use the cash gun today. We did well yesterday. Got the home run call, got a prop bet. But we have high standards for the money gun here on the Onyx podcast. So, Mm -hmm. (laughs) all right, good luck. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one, guys. Bye.